and her opponents. First, from Knoxville, Tennessee, Benali Bell R. Guys, the upcoming triple threat match should be nothing short of spectacular. Yeah, especially considering what a victory could do for the career of the superstar who walks out of here with the win. Determined looks on these faces of these women for sure. Wouldn't you agree, Byron? Absolutely, but that shouldn't come as any surprise, especially considering how intense the women's division is right now. From San Diego, California, Nia Jax. Byron, what's the game plan for these superstars heading into this triple threat match? Michael, a lot of times you'll see a competitor lurking in the weeds, just waiting for the right time to strike. But knowing these three superstars the way I do, I doubt we'll see any of them standing by idly here tonight. And I'd say these women definitely look ready to get this one started. So am I, Michael. I don't think I've ever seen these women give a poor performance. And I'm willing to bet tonight will be no different. And here we go, looking in the ring, only one word comes to mind to describe what we can expect from this triple threat match. Classic. A move like that is completely unnecessary, unless you want to degrade your opposition, of course. If there's one place you don't want to get pummeled, it's your face. Look at her here. She's just reveling the opportunity to make a mockery of her opponent. Guys, let's quickly discuss Nia Jax. What does she have to do to make sure she leaves the other two women behind in this triple threat match? These triple threat matches usually start with every competitor looking out for their own interests, but they always end up in a two-on-one situation. Emma's on the attack. She's really fixated on delivering that maneuver. Emma looking to attack from high. There she goes. Look out. Very impressive drop kick. Right in the middle of her stomach. This is another example of the carnage this beauty can create. What an unbelievable slam. Here's Nia Jax with some offense of her own. Great offense by Emma. Oh man, Nia Jax goes down hard. She needs to find a way to get to her feet. Time is of the essence here too, Michael. From what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. She's having a hard time getting back to her feet, guys. Well, she's going for the cover. And the kick out. Yeah, seemed to be just testing the waters a bit there. The point of that elbow delivers. Nia Jax seems to have lost a step now. She might want to think about taking a breather and letting the other two women go at it for a while. Yeah, but I wouldn't count her out yet. 
Any one of these three women can win this match. It's been an amazing match up to this point, guys. And from where I sit, any one of these women can win this thing. Okay, now she's just showing off. And Emma might be in some trouble here. By no means is this dire straits for her, though. Not surprising, Cole. When you're in the ring with two of the best women on the roster, you're going to take a few lumps. That's just the way it is. Well, she's looked good up until now. She just has to make sure not to absorb too much punishment here if she wants to get back into this thing. There's the pinfall and the victory. Here is your winner, Benali Bell R.